Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we are exploring Tomb Raider, the uh, 2013 reboot one. Not any of the old ones, as you can probably tell from the menu, and it's also not the new one, because uh, the new one's not out on PC yet, or even PS4. Uh, though, if it wasn't PS4, that wouldn't matter. I wouldn't be able to record it. Uh, but yeah, so basically, I've actually been meaning to replay this game for a while, and I think it seems like a pretty good fit for my channel so far, because uh, I've actually played it before, uh, a long time ago. So we will be uh, doing that, hard difficulty, and I uh, hope y'all enjoy it. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead... Adventure found me. Those are some aggressive subtitles. They are right up there in the middle of the screen, making sure you see them. In our darkest moments. When life flashes before us, we find something. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us. screwed. Honestly, I would, I would just be dead in this situation. In real life, I'm not a good swimmer. It would be awful here. No chance. presents is not going to show the developer's name that's kind of weird it's made by crystal dynamics if, uh, if the game's not going to tell us apparently it, it only cares about telling us who the publisher is who square you know, so I don't know I don't see the scene kind of fair oh wait a production of never mind spoke too soon Crystal Dynamics, yep, yeah, okay, I'm an idiot. Oh, damn. <gasps> and no, for anyone wondering, I do not have Trez effects on. Because goddamn, why would I want to destroy my frame rate like that? Pretty sure Trez effects was meant for NVIDIA cards. And I have an NVIDIA card, it's still, like, no way. Besides, it doesn't even look that good. The, uh, the version of Trez FX that's in this game is, like, not great. Even if it doesn't destroy your frame rate because you've somehow got, like, a god PC, it just doesn't, uh... Ooh. It, uh... Which one? Oh, we gotta go left and right so we can burn the rope off of that thing there. Yeah, even if you have a god PC and it doesn't destroy your frame rate, the actual hair effects still, they just don't look that great, because they make the hair freak out a lot. 
But yeah, that's actually what we wanted to do. Okay, what? Man, e! Okay, E. That's weird. Well, like, nah, I suppose it makes sense. QTEs don't belong in a game with mouse and keyboard, though, in my opinion. Because <laughs> having to mash a keyboard is not a pleasant experience. Because whenever it happens, and I've played plenty of games that have done this, but whenever I'm forced to mash a button on my keyboard rapidly, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Oh, God. No. 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 So, yeah, as you can tell, uh, this is a super happy place. Uh, it's a great vacation spot where, uh, you know, people, people come just hang out by the candlelight, have some dinner. Ooh, a torch. Gotta grab the torch. Come on, damn it. Alright, and light this up. Oh, gotta hold it. Whoopsie. There you go. And it all just burns at once and instantly crumbles into a pile of ash. Very quickly, very efficient. That's German fire for you. Sehr gut. Alright. He, meaning the guy who kidnapped us, I'm guessing? Yes. Q for survival instincts. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. How do we do this? Yeah, okay, light the torch. Get all nice and lit up. And, uh... Oh no, we gotta light up this. Jump up first. There you go. Put that on fire. And blow up the barrel and somehow not kill ourselves, even though we're only standing a few feet away. Or it's not gonna blow up. No, oh, no, it blows up. It totally blows up. Totally should have killed us. Oh well. Anyway. Oh. On second thought, let's, uh, let's see if we can find another way out. I don't want to... I don't want to walk under that. I am... I do, I do not do good in tight places. I'm not a good swimmer. I don't like darkness. Oh, you, you're an asshole. What, right? Yep. For some reason, I don't believe him. Yeah, I don't, I don't like small spaces, I don't like being underwater, I'm not a good swimmer, I don't like darkness. I'm afraid of a lot of things in real life. All things that can kill you, really. Also, uh, I know I'm not the first person to point this out, but uh, the wound that she got from landing on that piece of rebarb is so horribly infected by this point, and yet they never bring it up again throughout the entirety of the game. And it's kind of funny, really. Force of will. Find a way out. It's not again. That's going to happen quite a lot. Places that automatically uh, put out our torch for us. But oh well. Oh. Yes, more fire. Get the more fire. Once we have more fire, we can do the what most kind of fire. Is this? Like that. I'm gonna try to avoid using survival instincts as much as I can, because to be frank, it's kind of kinda of bullcrap, in my opinion. I just don't like stuff like that in games. F to shove. Alright, yeah, I guess that is the melee button. But I wonder because I also yeah. I also rebound. Oh wait, no, I forgot. We need to do this thing first. Alright, jump across here. There we go, lift that up. That'll... You can jump and... Hmm. Oh wait, no, not that. We need to get over here first. I think we need to uh, get that weight down. Right? I think. Blech. Like this? Yeah? No? Oh, wait. One more thing we need to light on fire. Yeah. 
There. Now it goes down in the water. And it'll get a bunch of, uh... Get a bunch of debris in it. And with all the debris in it, jump across here. Weigh it down so it lifts up. And... Knocks all that into there. Yep. Thanks for showing me, game. You can give me control of the camera back now, if you please. Now we just go up here. I believe we want to light these on fire first. Yeah. Light those on fire. Then push it. Knocks all those down there. And they will blow up the explosive barrels. End up. Mine that's just there for some reason. You know, because mines often end up in caves. Oh, anyway. We gotta get out. Model of lots. Great. I'm not gonna be looking any of the models or artwork or anything. Ooh, not that way. Okay. This way, Lara. This way. Or not. You can just fall, that's cool too. Falling's fun. So is smashing through debris on the way down. One of my favorite fast times, really. Yeah, there's like... God. It's funny. I like this game a lot. But, when you think about it, some of this stuff just it doesn't make any sense. Like, there's no way that she can so perfectly get through here. Uh, fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's nasty. Like that. That would happen in real life. But in the game, she somehow, like, perfectly makes it through with, uh, without a scratch. This. And now E. What the heck? I pressed E. It is E, right? Or do I have to press F for that one? It doesn't make it clear. The first time I played this, I actually played it on a Xbox 360. And on that one, it's very clear. It's always the big, like, blue X if you have to press X, or the big, uh... Oh, F to kick. Okay. And now he dies. There you go. Letting us go to safety. But in that one, I think it just, if I'm not mistaken, it gives the same red, uh... Same red thing red uh, warning marker for both E and F. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Just dodge to the side as we climb up here. This is so goofy. I hate quick time events. The single, literally the single worst part of this game. And if they get to be too much of a bother, I might actually switch to playing with the controller, which will be in the ass. The aiming on the controller is not optimal. It's not great. Gotta use that right analog stick instead of a mouse. So I'd really rather play this with a mouse. But we'll see how things go, because if the quick time events turn out to be as hard as that one throughout the whole course of the game, then oh boy, it's gonna be bad. And here we are. The Mysterious Island. I don't think it has a name. Or maybe it does, I don't know. I honestly can't remember. If it has a name, we'll learn it soon enough. There you go. So this is Tomb Raider. Um, frankly, although this game, I think, gets a lot of criticism for, you know, being a mostly linear experience and it's kind of a the lifeboat. The lifeboat. Where are they? They must have gone inland. Yes, they must have gone inland. Um actually let me real quick. I think the it's not gameplay options for some weird reason. I think the voice is just a little bit quiet, so we'll do that. Zoom. Thank you. <clears throat> Yeah, this game gets a lot of criticism for, you know, having the quick time events and being kind of linear. It's okay. a bit of an Uncharted clone Take with a slow. lot of, uh, you know, because it has a lot of shooting and the puzzles are kind of basic and stuff like that. And I definitely understand those criticisms, but, 
Oh, Overall, I think there's enough good to outweigh the bad. The environment and the platform, the environment in the game is uh, really appealing to me. Okay. And the, you know, the fact that there are any puzzles at all is, is nice. It's not just shooting, and there's still there's quite a bit of exploration and platforming and, you know, finding uh, hidden items. And unlike in most games, the hidden items actually have, like, a bit of lore attached to them. But that's cool. That's cool. And also, of course, it's a beautiful game. And I believe, as I mentioned before, in my missed playthrough, I am a sucker for islands. Anytime you can stick me on a deserted island to give me any kind of like vague mystery to solve, even if I have to shoot people in between solving that mystery, then I will take it. I can do this. No, you can't. This is ridiculous. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Need to be a bit closer. There we go. Oh, eat a grab. God damn. Maybe I have to just... Okay, jump up. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to just, like... Hopefully, if the game is consistent with it... Maybe I'll be able to just remember, uh... Remember, like, the context of things. Like, if I have to kick something... Or push something, then it would be F. If, to, if I have to grab onto something, then that's E. That makes sense. Come on, let us see it falling down. That's lame. That's lame. Let me see. Come on. Let's go down there and see what it looks like. I want to see the plane. Is the plane even down there? The plane's not even down there. That is cheating. Jeez, I, I hope you saved money on that Crystal Dynamics. I hope you saved money by not showing the animation of the ship falling down. There's a part of it still. I think that's actually the, the cockpit. The wing. Wing's not there. The wing. We don't see the wing. Can't see the wing. Wing's too expensive. The other wing on the other side, but that's not, it's not the same wing. I hope it was worth it, Crystal Dynamics. <sighs> yeah, I'm not actually whining about that. I am just... Making jokes. Oh, anyway. Press space mid-jump to scramble up flat walls. Yeah, which is totally something people do in real life. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Sam's pack. Sam's pack? <laughs> it's just fucking face plant into the mud again. Sam! They must have come this way. Radio, new, new gear acquired. Yep. Alright, we can't uh, pick anything else. Any other loot? Yeah, okay. Okay. I probably shouldn't expect there to be. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh me oh my. Jeez, you're gotta have a few broken bones and ribs by this point. Take shelter from the storm. Yes, sir. I shall do this. Ooh. There's our first, uh... Well, besides the guy who tried to kidnap us and all the candles and everything that he put up, besides that, that's sort of our first little clue about the, uh, the nature of this island. The little thing there, it's like a... It looks like a wind chime. But I can't imagine it's actually made of metal. It sort of looks like a cross between a wind chime and a dream catcher. Anyway, yeah. Looks about Is anyone listening? Please respond.
Yep. One match left. <laughs> Using wet wood. This is totally gonna work. And if you think that... Oh, maybe the wood's not wet. Because maybe she just got it from under the, the thing that she's under. Under the big rock and it's still dry. No. No way. At some point, the wind would have definitely blown and splashed some water onto all of that. Oh well. She's lucky. That's all I'm saying. Poor little Laura. You, you can stand to get closer to the fire, you know. Like, really. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamata... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. Don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Laura, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, concerned. is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Not my favorite cast of characters, to be completely honest. But oh well. I can't just sit here. No, you, you can't. I've got to find something to eat. But maybe you should. Maybe we could just, you know, head back, stand in the fire, just relax. Somebody will come and find us, I'm sure. Just, uh, you know, I mean... Honestly, it's it's not so. Bad. It's it's a pretty place. Who needs food? You've got a hole. You got a hole in your damn stomach, girl. You're gonna eat the food and it's gonna fall out and just like spill down your back. And it's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be nasty, to be precise. Oh well. All right, let's go hunt down this deer. It didn't do anything to us, but uh, you know. Oh God, what's going on here? Wait, I can use that bow. You sure can. Woman versus wild. Find a weapon to hunt deer. 
this. Oh, we can't open that yet. I think we actually need a... Whatchamacallit. Oh, hey, cool. We got extra arrows. Alright. No, no. Yeah, over. Oh, boy. Come on. Up here. Thank you. Whew. And just shimmy across this. Yeah. I can do this. That dead body looks exactly like a ghoul from Fallout. No, no, come on. There you go. Awesome. She's gonna fall again, isn't she? Yes, I knew it. Granted, I have played the game before, but... I don't remember everything perfectly. So that was... more or less a guess. Let's see if this thing still works. Yes, let us see. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. Is that like bullet time? Yeah. I'm so hungry. I need to That's find just... something to eat. Really? Z? Oh, I'm gonna need to switch that. Switch that right quick. But uh, we'll have to do that in the next next uh, episode, because uh, pretty much out of time for this one. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it so far, and I hope you all continue to enjoy it. And if you made it to the end of this, consider leaving a comment. I'd appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye